Hi kindergartners, our worksheet for today probably looks a little bit familiar to you, but I'm going to point out something that's different about it. Yes, you've done one before that has a Christmas tree like that, that's true. But if you remember, the one we did before was all about the vowel sound of the short A. I can hear a few of you going, ah, ah, mm -hmm. you're thinking apple or astronaut. Right, because those words begin with the short A. Well, today we're going to look again at the sound in the middle of the word. Right, because many sounds we can hear at different spots in the word, the beginning, middle, and end. Now, the other big difference today is, today we're going to talk about words that have short E in the middle. Ready? Let's make the short E sound. Eh, eh. Kylie, did you just say Eskimo? Yep, a lot of times we like to say the word Eskimo because we can hear the short E at the beginning. Well, today our short E words are going to be in word families. So we're going to look at these light bulbs on the side and we're going to use our color code to know which word family they belong to. So our first word is R-E-D. What color are we going to color pictures, excuse me, color words from the et family. Okay. Very good, we're gonna color them red. You knew that that spelled red. Those, this is the color code right here that tells you ET words get colored red. All right, let's go through our list of the words and find out if we hear eh in the middle and t at the end, it goes et. All right, bed. No, I heard a D at the end. I didn't hear an E-T. Okay, set, set. Okay, Kaden, what do you think? Yep, set has an E-T in it, so we're going to color it red. Okay, hen, hen. Brooklyn, do you hear an E-T? You're right, I heard an N at the end also, so we can't color that one. Okay, med like short for medicine, med. All right, Aubrielle, oh, that doesn't work for the et family. D is different than t. Okay. Oh, look it, it's our color word, red. Do we hear an et in red? Okay, at Logan, no, we don't hear that. Okay, let's do this one. Met, I met my friend at the park, met. Okay, uh, Nevaeh. Yep, I heard it too. So let's color this word red. Met. Okay, P N pen. Nope, it's an N sound again. Good. Okay, Rylan, this one's gonna be for you. F ed. I fed my fish. Oh, you're done. Wah wah wah. You're right. It does not have the E T. Okay, one more word. Pet. Pet. Ethan, what do you think about the word pet? Yep, we need to color it because it's part of the et family. Okay, I'm going to read these three words and let's see if they're the same word family. Set, met, pet. Yep, they rhyme, they sound alike. Okay, let's go to the next part of our color code. Ed is going to be yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W, good. I'm gonna circle it just in case you need to check that out later. Okay, ready? Bed. Did you make your bed this morning? Bed. Mm -hmm, I definitely did hear it. We used that word the other day, didn't we? Okay, how about hen? H -e -n. I heard the short E, but the ending was different. It said N. So I can't color that. M ed. Med. Mm-hmm. There it is. E-D. Let's color it. Okay, go ahead. All right, what did you want to tell me, Lillian? I need to color the word red, and why is that? Because it ends with ed, but not to color it red. Okay, I get what you're saying. I need to color the word red, but it needs to be the color yellow. Okay, that was confusing. Okay, pet n Nope, you are right. That's correct, Audrey. That's not part of the Ed family. How about fed? F-Ed. 
Yes, good, good job, Remington. Let's color the word fed. All right, let's read them. Bed, med, red, fed. Oh, this time there were four. There was a greater number of words in the Ed family than in the Et family. Okay. All right, last but not least, we get to use B-L-U-E. Yep, that spells blue. Okay, I'm going to circle it, and that's going to be for the N family. All right, how about this word? N, does it work? It does. Let's check and see if it rhymes with the other word that's left. P N. Hen, pen. Mm hmm. They just switched the first letter to make a new word. So hen is going to be colored blue, and pen is going to be colored blue. Oh, okay. All right, what was that, Alec? Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, you can color these a different color if you want to make it more complete, the little part that goes into the light socket. Okay, sure. Go ahead and do that. Now, here's the other thing you need to do. Ooh, ooh, I broke my crayon. Yikes. In order to be finished with your paper, you need to cut out all the way down the side. Mm -hmm. Cut off the scrap, put it in the garbage, and then you can cut these apart and glue them on your tree. And they'll look really pretty. You had an idea? Oh, okay. What was your idea about Hunter? Oh, yeah, I would like that. Hunter wants to know if it's okay if you color the tree first before you put the bulbs on. Yeah, that would look really nice. Would you want to put... Yeah, you can draw a star and an angel at the top. You can also add some garland or other ornaments. All right, boys and girls, have fun thinking about the short E sound, eh, reading the words from the word families, and decorating your Christmas trees.